Hello there, and welcome to the Redwater Show. My name is Water. And I am the Red. Yes, you are. Oh, man, back at you after just a short weekend break. Seems mm. like only yesterday that I was really tired and doing a show. <laughs> and here I am again with uh, a total of about two hours sleep under my belt. Um, I, oh, crap. I, I went and... Yeah, I went and grabbed all these Yahoo answers after finishing an essay last night around 4 a.m. So, should be a fun show. Yeah, this is going to be like a freaking insomniac show. Hells yeah. So how was your weekend, Red? Weekend? Uh, oh, crap. Yeah, I just... Shoot, this weekend was bad for a while. It was bad. Aw. Yeah, I went back to work. Shit. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, that's always been. And, well, me, not only that, but I got this weird-ass schedule from my boss, but it conflicted with the corporate schedule, so I thought I was supposed to go to work today. But thank God he came back to me, you know, this morning, or not this morning, but like yesterday, and he's like, no, 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 you're not supposed to go to work tomorrow. Okay. And I was Good. like, oh, jeez. <laughs> right on. So uh, no work today. But, but you had work yesterday? Yeah, I had work yesterday, though, okay. naturally. Cool, cool. Yeah, my weekend was... God, yesterday was pretty much all worrying about and subsequently doing my essay very late. <laughs> <laughs> and the day before, uh, God, my girlfriend and I went to see In Time, which is a great film for the communist in all of us. So, mm. I would highly recommend it, comrade. <laughs> Very I don't know if you've heard about that movie. It's have you heard In time. No. Mm, no, I don't think I've heard of In Time before. Ah, uh, it's a science fiction film starring Justin Timberlake, and mm. it's the this world singer. where yes, yes, everyone has these clocks on their arm that start when you turn twenty-five, and basically it counts down the remaining time in your life and you start with a year and from there on you basically do work or deals or whatever and you get time back and you spend time for goods and services and that kind of thing and it stars this it focuses on this guy from like the ghetto time zone as they call it and so he usually has like a day left on his clock and one day, uh, uh, this man who's, like, 80 in real-life years and has, like, 100 years on his clock basically commits suicide by, like, giving all of his time to him. And he basically goes and tries to upset the system. You know what I mean? Dude. Dude. That, is, that sounds pretty bitchin', actually. It, it is. Um, I mean, it's, it's just kind of like a... kind of a standard like, thriller-type action movie, but... The, the concept's pretty fun. So, I'd say check it out if you got the chance. Um, yeah, next time I got the extra cash to go out and do that, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, it's true, you're kind of low on that. Which is why I bought you a VNV Nation ticket. Mm. Mm, I'll come down and pick your ass up, honey. And then we'll do a live oh, yeah. show together, I hope. Oh, oh, I think you just gave it away. Mm. I hope, I, I hope. I don't think I'm going to make it down there in time. But if we can, we can. What, what? Just just get here as soon as you can, honey. Uh, I hope so. You live so far away, but I have oh. other obligations to take care of. Okay. Actually, I, did, I didn't know that. I thought you were going to be able to make it down by, like, noon or two or something like that, right? Yeah, actually, I'm not sure if I'm even, <laughs> even going to be able to make it there because I have a few things to do on Monday. But, but, 
Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Whatever, we can do the show after we get back from Orphan Andy's or whatever. Who gives a crap, you know? Nobody will be here. <laughs> so, ah. I mean, my downstairs, my downstairs neighbor might yell at us and bang on the ceiling, but, you know. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> so, my drink today is this lovely Goose Island Spicy Ginger. And I've opened it, but not taken a sip. And, and I've been wanting to take a sip for so long, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a sip here. Mmm, plugging that freaking ginger right there, huh? Mmm. Oh yeah. I wouldn't say it's spicy. It's it's strong, but it's very sweet. It's got a lot of sugar in it. Mm hmm. Mm. Yes. And what's your drink today, Red? <laughs> Me? Oh, I'm drinking. I'm drinking some good stuff. I have some DP over here, actually. My mm -hmm. usual. The usual. Mm -hmm. Of course. The usual mm -hmm. drink. All right. So today on the administration show, uh, we we've gone through the the banter quite enough. Uh, we mm. got more news this time. Picking up a bunch of news stories that Red found for last show that we didn't get to. And uh, the Yahoo answers I picked out last night. So hopefully they're okay. <laughs> Um, yeah. Safe's pretty yeah. hit and miss. Uh, we have, uh, of course, My Immortal, but this is going to be a very special episode in terms of My Immortal, because mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, the chapter that introduced us to the, the series, I believe. Yes, the man who inspired us to go ahead yes. and do this. Yes, indeed, and we are nowhere near as good as him now that I'm listening back to it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We've uh, tried, but it's up to you guys to determine whether or not we've been doing a good job. Mm -hmm. And I have a special mystery music break. I am not going to tell you who it is until after I play the song. So mm -hmm. y'all can play at home and try to figure out who it is. And you didn't you tell me? No, I didn't tell you. <sighs> you might be able to figure it out. It's a very famous person, but this is not something you will have probably heard by them. So, I suppose, let's see here, you can interact with the Redwater Show by emailing redwater.show at gmail.com. Please do. Still no emails. We got a comment on the most recent episode, though, on YouTube. But it's not quite the same, you know? We have this email box for a reason, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, come on. You, you, <laughs> you, you gotta elaborate, you know? Don't. You, you can go over the 140 character limit here. You yeah, know? I know. You can write us a, a nice few paragraphs if you like. Um, you can find our website with archives and resources on the topics and music at redwatershow.podomatic.com. Also on the Podomatic site, we have links to the live stream. The show airs live on Mondays from 2 to 3 p.m. Pacific time. Woot! On time for once. <laughs> uh, unless otherwise noted on the events page. In addition, we are posting episodes on my YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash xdxyzl. By the way... We are getting close to the capacity of our Podomatic account, and I don't want to use their um, their pro service because it's not a very good deal. So I may be migrating the show to a different website because uh, as lovely as the site is, and it's very nice and professional looking, we have only 80 megabytes left of storage. So it's like it's like two shows, two or three shows left. It's it's pretty much one show left. I won't have enough left over for one after that. So, but never fear. I I have some options, and I may start paying out of pocket for hosting. So, mm -hmm. um, we'll be okay. YouTube is, seems to be our main site now, though. So, <laughs> I might not even bother. That and do you think we could probably use like uh, another mirror site, like? Uh... Uh, like Media Mega Fire. Upload or Media, Media Fire. Yeah. yeah, I did that for the first episode. I might start doing that again and just post the links in the YouTube uh, descriptions. So Either that or I've got a buddy in line who uh, uses a RapidShare account. I wonder if I could contact him and see if we can use RapidShare to go ahead and post all our stuff. Oh, I mean, you don't even need an account for that. But anyways, I think it's time we dive into the Yahoo Answers. Straight in. I oh, like yeah. that. So this first one, I, I ordered these for once in terms of importance. Uh, and this first one is just... The question is, is of course, typical Yahoo Answers, uh, poorly written. And the response is just 
brilliant. So yeah, this response in particular, I got it. Yes. yes, we got to give props to this dude. So how about I ask the question and you read the answer? <laughs> well, sounds like a tag team thing to do. Oh yes, Mame Fat writes, "How my boyfriend forget the past." Dot dot dot. Especially when having sex with my husband. It hurts me a lot every time that my BF remember the happy thing that happens to me and my husband. How can I remove those things in the past? He don't believe me that I'm happy with him. Yes, I have an affair with other man, and I do really this guy, plus help. And we got our... I, I can't believe Mr. Mitch Mitch. Or is it just Mitch? Uh, actually answered this, and decoded this. He says, let me mm -hmm. get this straight. Your boyfriend has sex with your husband to forget the past? Sounds gay to me. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Especially, af especially uh, after you going around with all those other men doing affairs. I, for one, am glad those two left uh, you for each other. Sounds like they will finally be happy together as a couple. You should leave them alone and move on to your next affair, you heartbreaker. Couldn't have said it better myself. Not that I knew what the hell she was talking about in the original. That's why question. I gotta give this guy props, because... I know. <laughs> he spent a long time figuring that out. I mean... Ah, oh, Jesus. I mean... <laughs> that would have been my first question, really, is... So... Who is, is having sex with who now? <laughs> who's having sex with who, and who is this other affair? It, it, <laughs> sounds like a weird three-way to me. Yeah. Or more than that, we're not sure. So, any any other comments on this? I just wanted to share that brilliant answer. It, it seems there are snarky, intelligent people on Yahoo Answers, so I'm happy to note that. Yes. We've got we've got brothers out there on the forefront. Yes, yes. Keep keep on the good fight on the front lines while we sit back and you know <clears> pick snark on the, it. Uh, Pick off the easy targets, yes. <laughs> so, do you want to read Naughty Ducky's question? Naughty Ducky says, How many glasses of water do you drink a day? Uh, question mark. And he's got a kind of a... a, a kind of, one of those tongue little tongue face. face and a sad face. And a sad and, or face. An up, or, or an upset face. So, I'm it's, not sure. It sounds like they're worried about not having enough water or something, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't think I get enough water in my life, you know. I, I need you all the time, water. Oh, yeah, I know. Everyone needs a little more water. <laughs> you, you need to drink a lot more water, that's what I think. Mm. Get down there at per the fountain. <laughs> yep. Personally, I have, as, as an aficionado of water, being water and all, I have roughly, I'd say, three glasses, four glasses of water a day. I don't think that's enough, though. What what is what is the recommended daily water intake, anyways? Medically recommend, medically speaking, I can't tell you because I have no idea. Uh, but hey, three to four glasses sounds appropriate. Maybe like a, a liter or two, depending on your activity. If you want to get all Shoot serious body. about it, I found a calculator that calculates my daily water intake based on weight and activity level. Hmm. Really? Let's see, yeah, uh, 102 ounces per day for me, which is, oh Jesus, wait, really? 12 cups per day, or six pints. Wow. So <laughs> I was right Christ. about about like a liter or more between a liter or two. Damn, I should start drinking more. Uh... <laughs> I know I'm drinking. I'm drinking. All right, Mika writes. <laughs> oh God, this one is just. I've, I have a feeling this person's trolling me. Like, I love it. No, uh, go do it. Okay, I'm a lesbian, but I want penetration. Is this normal? My favorite question of all time, of course. My girlfriend and I have been dating for eleven months so far. I wouldn't change anything about it, and I love her more than anything else in the world. But for some reason, I want to experience what penetration with a capital P would be like. As in, I think I would really enjoy it. It's like my body is craving for it. I spoke to some of my close friends about this, and they suggested sleeping with a male. But as I told them, I'm not sexually interested in men, 
and though I might I think about men from time to time, I feel more comfortable and connective dating the same sex. Also, my girlfriend told me she wishes she had a penis for reproductive purposes, and I really wouldn't mind that at all. In fact, I would enjoy it more if she had one. Is it possible that I'm heterosexual, or is it that I just want penetration? Now, I think it's difficult to go through life and, and get to this point without ever hearing about dildos. Because um, I, I would think that's common knowledge these days, right? I mean... <laughs> I don't understand sometimes. I mean... There's... Your girlfriend... I mean... I, you guys should at least have, you know, fifty dollars in between you. You you could get a you can get a nice big old black strap on, Alabama black yeah. snake strap on. Yeah, what do you think strap ons are for? I mean that's pretty much tailor made situations like yours, right? I mean mm -hmm. who needs a man when you can have some uh some good hard plastic. Nami. <laughs> Nami. Well I mean they they, I mean, they, they, they they mold it sometimes to make it very realistic, you know. Well yes. But I mean, just as good as a man, plastic, in my opinion. And hey, since since you got your girl controlling it, hey, you know, it's it's even better mm -hmm. since it's 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 how she knows you like it. Now, now, as to the silliness about wanting a girlfriend to have a dick and that making her heterosexual, don't don't be ridiculous. It's not it's not either or. Come on, you should mm -hmm. know better than that, right? We're all or is this one of those like. Degree. Is this like ah, oh, bi people don't exist type nonsense? I mean, come on. <laughs> and it yeah, doesn't even have to be like, maybe you're kind of, maybe your your girlfriend's kind of like transgender or something. You know, got a, kind of got uh, <sighs> some don't male characteristics. Don't get me no. started about transgenders for the love of God. I know. Why are you I know, piss I, know off I know people? a couple, and oh man. Oh, are are they are they nice or are they annoying? <laughs> okay, one of them. <laughs> is a friend of mine's mom, and she's cool, or he's cool, I should cool. say. He or she, but I... Yeah. It, well, now he uh, okay. is cool. But this other person I knew from high school that was a girl, but now she claims to be male, even though she's had nothing done. And she has a twin who is perfectly heterosexual and female, and she doesn't know what the frick is wrong. So... Well... Oh, what, what do you mean? I mean, twins don't have to be the same uh, gender identity or sexuality or anything, right? Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. True, but even so, like, it seems like it, it, it seemed like transgenderism for this person was just made on a dime. Like the decision just, was just made one day. You, and so, es like, it, especially it was just, uh, a switch, like, yeah, no, pretty much, no prior, uh, no prior, especially, like inclinations especially concerning the politics behind it but i'm not going to get into that that's a totally okay. different story for another day and i, I know mean, there's you can't the, really know their motives or their like how they oh, actually feel so I mean, oh no actually i know a little bit of their motives but we're not going to get into that and i know somebody who's a lot more qualified to discuss that matter hmm. all right maybe we'll get them on the show someday who knows yeah you'll have to talk to me about talk to me about that later so this next one is also this next one, God, this frustrates me. Um, do you want to read it? All right, from Muskin. Why, why girls are always supposed to change their surname? Hi, my name is Muskin Pal. I'm married since January of 11. It was a love marriage. Me and my husband is able to make everyone happy all around the family. But we fight more often on some topics like surname. I want to continue with my old surname a.k.a. maiden name. Initially, he said he don't have issue with that, but now sometimes he says it's if, if his parents would ask him what he will say. And also, I want to support my parents throughout my life because I don't have brother. I don't want to leave alone my parents in their old age. On that part, he says, I don't have any issue with that. If you want to support your parents, I don't have a problem. We can accumulate them around our house like some flat near our house that can stay there, but we can't say to them to stay with us because his parents might have some issue with that. Oh. Yeah, she's, uh. got four she's got four periods there, so that kind of <laughs> helps. I'm a very emotional person. A couple more periods. 
I love my parents so much, I don't want them to suffer in life, neither. I want his parents to suffer in life. Being a girl, I'm fighting for my parents. Can't make this clear enough, can you? Why not girls' parents can stay with her? I'm fed up with these social obstacles. I hate these social dramas. Is, is anyone's social norm more important than nigh one's parents? I want to stop being these things, or I want to be stop these things. I want myself to be free if nothing else for, else for my parents. Ah, oh, Jesus. This is this is a sad situation. From what for I can... Thing, go ahead. What, what, go all ahead. right, what's, what's... No, you go ahead. Fine. Okay, from what I can tell, something about you wanting to change, wanting to change your surname back to continue the family, you know, because gener- mm-hmm. that's usually what families like to do. They like to keep their generation in line with their names. Because I know my my family recycles names, or at least pass the names through into like middle names and that kind of thing, or first yeah. names. I know, I know, my middle name was passed on, and I know my littlest brother's name was also passed on. So, mm-hmm. but, um, but how does that have an issue with supporting parents, like? Because she puts such an emphasis on the word support here. I I was just going to note, like, I'm, I was more focusing on the beginning and how, like, God, it really, it must really suck for you to live in a culture where you, you have to preface being married with it was a love marriage. <laughs> like, mm. Oh my God. Think how much that oh, would yeah. suck. I mean, to be in a place where that's like, you know, not the default or something. <laughs> India or any, you know, I, those I kind, guess, kind of yeah. countries, Middle East countries, they do that. They do arranged marriages and stuff. Just such a crappy like, patriarchal society you got right there. Um, and I'll, I, she also like refers to herself as a girl all the time, which you know, one of those pet peeves of mine being uh, kind of sociology minded. Most of my girlfriend, but. Could also maybe girl. explain. Mm, going back to India, that she may she may may not be in the United States, is she? Yeah, most likely not in the United States. It so probably English sounds is... like if I had to guess, India. Yeah. Is anyone's social norm is more important than anyone's parents? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I hate to say it, but I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna live with my parents when they're old, so Shoot. unless you know. It's through my own fault. <laughs> if you if you take their money and waste it, that's that's your thing. Oh wait, no. or if you if you uh, I, I, I totally lost my thought right there. Ignore that. <laughs> Cut that out. Ah, <laughs> screw you. All I can think of Nya thing like Nyan cat Nya thing for my parents. All right, I'll be free from so let's Nya get thing. on. So, so this next question is kind of related to last week's news topic. Oh yes, <laughs> Ben writes, "My W or MW three didn't come today. Sad face. I wanted it early." Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 the let's... poor, the poor little Xbox kitty didn't get his Modern Warfare three. Oh. oh, you know, I'm I'm on Steam right now and. Let's see here. Hold on just a second. What's on Steam? What's on Steam? Uh, Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> well, well, in my time zone, it says it's going to unlock in approximately 17 hours, so don't worry. Hey, if you, and if you sign up now for the uh, for the new subscription base that they've got going for you, you, you might be able to get stats. it. You can track your stats, so as soon as it releases in 17 hours, you will be able to, to like, make sure you're dominating your buddies. Yeah, right away. Sure, you can you can hop on the, the Xbox Live and crack open that mic and start yelling obscenities. It's, it's gonna be it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great, oh, man. Oh boy. I mean, just don't let your parents hear. <laughs> yeah, don't let it, yeah, don't stay up too late, or else you know your parents are gonna walk in your room at twelve o'clock at night and yell at you that you have school tomorrow. Get to bed. Yeah. All right. So this next question, <laughs> kind of related to the last question right here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, from the question mark, what is the interpretation of a dream filled with torture? 
In multiple dreams, I seen dead, sliced up bodies, and blood all over the walls. A person getting in the electric chair, a person getting chained up, and tortured. It looked gross. I wasn't never really getting tortured. It felt like I was just spectating. You're sick. Hmm. Hmm. You know, you should, uh, have you ever heard of, uh, this, this style of music called death metal? Ooh. Um, I, I think it might, it might suit you. Um, if, if, if you want a little taste of it, try, uh, Google searching Cannibal Corpse. And, oh, uh, you, you yeah. might find something to your liking, you know? Oh, uh, yeah, I can't, they're, they're, they're one of the, some of their album covers, man. Oh, yeah, just Google image Ooh. search Cannibal Corpse. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It'll, it'll be like. See. Yeah, it'll, don't let your parents see. You're also going to bust in your room at 12 o'clock and tell yeah. you to turn off your. Oh, no, never mind. We already been. Oh, <laughs> uh, I shouldn't be encouraging them. Uh, <laughs> what's the interpretation, so, though? That's what's what he's the interpretation? Asking. Uh, it, it sounds like you. Uh, you. You're, you're as, you have aspirations of becoming a snuff filmmaker. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Either that, or you got a future career as a waterboarding uh, mm-hmm. uh, inquisitor for the U.S. government. Yeah, man. If only you'd been, uh, if only you'd been an adult during the Bush administration, you could have got some work. Mm-hmm. Um, or, the, or, or the, uh, or the, or the Clinton administration. I'm sure. Mm. Hang on, there's a puppy that wants in my room. I will be right back. Uh-oh. All right, uh, go well, ahead. I will read go... the next. Read the next me, question. Me, me, me. Right, sin with a nice short one. What's the most romantic thing you've ever done? And while Red is wrestling with a puppy, I am going to think about this one because I actually did not think about this one too much. Before. <sighs> the most romantic thing you've ever done. Hmm. Well, uh, the most romantic thing I've ever done was allowing my little pup pup to come into the room with me and sit on my bed. Ah, huh, little one. As long as it doesn't make too much noise, you know. Uh, don't worry. Show. She doesn't. She doesn't do anything. Yeah. Except paw at the door. God damn it. Man, what's the most romantic thing I've ever done? But, it, but in reality, go ahead. Uh, I'll have an answer. I'll have a you, real you answer. You do have an answer. You do have an answer. Yeah, I, I do. Real answer. Okay. Um, I think it was like right after. Oh, this will be coming up pretty soon. About two years ago, when I was like dating my girlfriend for a couple months, I like came back from uh, Thanksgiving break to the dorms, and I came back before, so I like walked over to the mall that was nearby. And like bought a single rose for an exorbitant price. It was like ten dollars or something for a single rose. Big spender. And yeah, I greeted her at the door when she hopped over to um, come hang out because you know that's what we did all the time back then. And I like was all set up and like I looked to the people and make sure hers and I was like yanked open the door and was like and shoved rose in her face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was great. Fun stuff. Okay. So what's yours? Okay, I just remembered, um, back in, I think, junior, yeah, ju- maybe the junior year of my high school career, um, oh. there, I went to this dance, uh, with my then current girlfriend, uh, Jade, and, mm-hmm. and this girl, uh, we're still good friends and everything, I'm good friends with all my exes, but, uh, at the time... What happened was, during a dance, uh, she was leaning in to kiss me, but somebody grabbed my attention, like somebody yelled at me from somewhere else, but she didn't hear it, and I turned my head at the last second, and she ended up, ended up like, kissing the, like, the backside of my head, and she <laughs> ran away, and I felt, and, and, like, throughout the rest of the dance, I felt so bad, and, like, apparently she broke down and cried because she thought I... You know, turned away from her on purpose. <laughs> like, so get the hell away from me. <laughs> yeah, basically. So at the end of the dance, like when everybody was getting picked up and whatnot, I I had my uh, well, did I have my car in junior? Year? No, I had my car in senior year. So mm. I was waiting. I was. We were all waiting for our rides, and pretty much I couldn't find her anywhere. 
And I knew she hadn't been, hadn't been picked up yet because I know the place where everybody's supposed to be picked up. And she told me where she was going to be. So I ran around the campus screaming her name like in one of those cheesy ass romantic comedies. Wow. Screaming, Jade! Jade, where are you? And and then I eventually kind of like sort of sort of broke down a little bit and I relayed the entire story to my now girlfriend, which is pretty wow. weird. And That's ironic. I, 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 yeah, I know. I, I confided in my girl in my t- in today in my today girlfriend. And I was like, "Oh man, I felt so I feel so bad and everything." And I was trying to bounce ideas off of her when and I was totally spilling my guts when Jade pops up from behind me and hears it. And it's like, oh, basically seen oh. straight out of a romance movie right there. Wow. Wow, that's 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 ridiculous. It almost sounds like you made that up. No, I swear Jesus. to you you can <laughs> I you can ask my girlfriend. I swear mm. to God that happened. Alright. Although I'll... months later, like Jade broke up with me for no adequately explained reason that I today don't <laughs> even know. You never bothered to explain it. Okay. Nope, never did. Wow. All right, then. And on that note, it is time for the music break. All right. Um, I, I'm not going to have any introduction for this. Don't want to give any biased opinion about it. So enjoy, and we will see you shortly. Right. Sweet deal. Sweet deal.
Alrighty then. Uh, apologies to any live listeners we had. I <laughs> accidentally opened the stream page and started hearing devils, so I paused the song for a few seconds before I figured it out. But I'm sure oh. I'll be sure to fix that in the archive. So I thought it like yes. dropped out or something. No, no, no. The the internet's fine on this computer. It's just my laptop that's messed up. So yeah, that was my bad. So do you have any guesses as to who that was? Uh, Avril Lavigne. I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's I guess a reasonable guess. Um, that was in fact a young lady by the name of Katie Hudson, who is better known today under the moniker of Katy Perry. Mm. This was from two thousand one. When she was 16, she released this album, a gospel Christian rock album. And in the interim, like, seven years, she really didn't do much at all. Did, like, some contributions to other stuff, but this this album was released way back on this defunct label. It, like, shut down in 2001, so, you know, if you can go on eBay and look for this album, and it's, like, 200 bucks, like buy it now so <laughs> holy hell yeah so that's of course why now was, that she's more famous yeah of course of course but yeah I, I was able to play that because obviously like there's no copyright holder for it anymore I don't think so yeah that's that's quite an interesting uh, start for someone who is so clearly especially in light of this a uh, construction <laughs> by the music industry <laughs> mm-hmm yeah, um, and that sadly, in that is probably the only song where, like, that is the best singing she does on the whole album. <laughs> She's she was not a very good singer back then either, so there you have it. <laughs> okay then. Well, glad it's uh, yeah, glad we're not gonna get sued for that, I suppose. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, it's not even. If you go on YouTube and look for songs on it, they don't even have, like, the YouTube scanner putting up the uh, the song links, you know? How they normally do. They say, like, you know, buy this from Amazon. They they don't have that, because, you know, nobody is uh, looking for this. <laughs> hot damn. Yeah. Unless they're hardcore so, Perry fans. That are hardcore kicked. Perry. Well, yeah, it has a lot of the videos have plenty of views, but there's no copyright holders, I don't think. Anyways... Uh, My Immortal. So this is a very special chapter. We have reached chapter 17, which is... Oh, man. The the editing just goes out the window here. Uh. Well, we've got a special, <laughs> special treat for you on this particular uh, yes. region. Um, years ago, we discovered this video <laughs> that this, this fellow perfectly... Re- just recites this this perfectly and we can't really do this justice so we thought we'd share the original what what got us into this amazing story the inspiration Um, the inspiration for us doing this show clearly (laughs) (laughs) uh it it is it does contain strong language it's not censored like we try to censor it so uh first would you like to read the author's note before we begin uh, I think, well, since you said uh, I could read the next chapter, why don't you go okay, ahead? Okay, I'll, I'll read this. Acid Stup Fming Destryo. If you're a prep, then do not read it. You kin tell whether you're a prep or not. By my quiz, it's on my home page. If you're not, then you rock. If you are, then fuck a f- Pzz, Willow isn't really a prep. Raven, please do this. I'll promise to give you back your poster. Mm-hmm. All right. It's a shame we don't have credits for this guy because I'd love to give him credits because he did such fabulous work. But here we are Perhaps. with My Immortal, Chapter 17. My Immortal, Chapter 17. A dramatic reading. Tom Riddle gave us some clothes and stuff for free. He said he would help us with makeup 
if he wanted, because he was really into fashion and stuff. He's bisexual. Hargrid kept shooting at us to come back to Hogwarts. WTF, Hargrid, I shouted angrily. Fuck off, you fjucking bastard. Well, anyway, Willow came. Hargrid went away angrily. Hey, bitch, you look kawaii, she said. Yeah, but not as kawaii as you, I answered sadly, because Willow's really pretty and everything. She was wearing a short black corset thingy with blood red lace on it and a black blood red miniskirt, leather fishnets, and black pointy boots that showed off how pale she was. She had a really nice body with big bobs and everything. <laughs> she was thin enough to be anorexic. So, are you going to the concert with Draco? She asked. Yeah, I said happily. I'm going with Diabolo, she answered happily. <laughs> well, anyway, Draco and Diabolo came. They were both locking extremely hot and sexy, and you could tell they thought we were hot too. Diabolo was wearing a black t-shirt that said 666 on it. He was wearing tons off makeup, just like Marilyn Manson. Draco was wearing black leather pants, a gothic black GC t-shirt, and black vans he got from Del Warped Tower. But Luddy Mart was going to the concert with Dracola. Dracola <laughs> used to be called Naval, but it turned out that he was kidnapped at birth and his real family were vampires. They died in a car crash. Naval converted to Satanism, and he went goth. He was in Slytherin now. He was wearing a black warped t-shirt, black jeans and shoes, and black hair with red streaks in it. We call him Dracula now. Well, anyway, we all went to Draco's black Mercy Benz. Get it? Because we're... I guess. That is dad Lucian gave him. We did pot, coke, and crack. Draco and I made out. We made fun of those stupid fucking preps. We soon got there. I gasped. Gerard was the sexiest guy ever. He looked even sexier than he did in pics. He had long raven black hair and piercing blue eyes. He was really skinny and he had an amazing ethnic voice. We moshed to Helena and some otter songs. Suddenly, Gerard pulled off his mask. So did the other members. I gasped. It wasn't Gerard at all. It was an ugly, preppy man with no nose and red eyes. Everyone ran away but me and Draco. Draco and I came. It was... <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Voldemort and the Death Dealers. You moronic idiots, he shooted angstily. And the B, I told you to kill Vampire. Thou have failed, and now I shall kill thou and Draco. No, no, please, we begged sadly, but he took out his knife. Suddenly, a gothic old man flew in on his broomstick. He had long black hair and a long black bread. <laughs> bread. He was wearing a black robe that said Avril on the back. He shot at a spell and Vlodemort ran away. It was Dumbledore. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's really hard to get back on track after that. Okay. Uh, next chapter. Ch chapter chapter eighteen. I think I can do note. this. I said, stop flaming. If you do, then you're a uh, effing prep. Fangs to Raven for the help and stuff. You rock. Mm, you're not a prep. Fangs from a suitor. P.S. The other Essen Dumbledore swore is cause he trin to be gothic, so dare. I woke up the next day in my coffin. I walked out of it and put on some black eyeliner, black eyeshadow, blood red lipstick, and a black really low cut <laughs> blood leather <bed> dress. <laughs> yeah, blood bed lipstick, my bad. And a black really low cut leather dress that was all ripped in in stripes so you could see my belly. I was wearing a skull belly ring with black and red diamonds inside of it. The night before Draco and I rent back to the skull, get it, skull, cause I'm gothic and I like death, Dumbledore chased Vladimort away. We, threw, we flew there on our brooms. Mine was black and the broom stuff was blood red. There was lace all over it. Draco had a black <laughs> MCR broom. We went back to our rooms and we had you know what to a Lincoln Park song. Well anyway, I went down to the Great Hall. Uh, there all the walls were painted black and the tables were black too but you fooled see there was a pink pant underneath the black pant and there were pastors of poser bands everywhere like <laughs> Ashley Simpson and the Backstreet Boys 
WTF, I shouted, sitting next to Bloody Mary and Willow. Bloody Mary was wearing a black leather mini with a good Charlotte t-shirt, black fishnets, and pointy black boots, or black pointy boots. Willow was wearing a long gothic black dress with blood red writing that was all lacy and came up to your thighs, and black boots and fishnets. Vampire, Dracula, and Draco came. We started to talk about who was sexier, Mikey, or Gerard Way, or Billy Joe Armstrong. The boys joined in because they were bi. Those guys are so effing hot, Naval was saying, as suddenly a gothic old man with a black beard and everything came. He was the same one who had chased away Vol Vlodmore yesterday. He had normal tanned skin, but he was wearing white foundation, and he had dyed his hair black. <laughs> Dumbledore! <laughs> one exclamation point. We all gasped. WTF, I shouted angrily. I thought he was just wearing that to scare Volsamort. Hello, everyone, he said happily. As you can see, I gave the room to a makeover. What you think about it? Everyone from the po poser table in Gryffindor started to cheer. Well, we goths just looked at each other all disfusted and shook our heads. <laughs> we couldn't believe what a poser he was. B2W, you can call me Albert. He was... He <laughs> called as we left to our classes. What an effing poser, Draco shouted angrily as we went into transformation. Transformation? We were holding hands. Vampire looked really jealous. I could see him crying blood in a gothic way. Get it? Way? Like Gerard? <laughs> but I don't didn't say anything. I bet he's having a midlife crisis, Willow shouted. I was so effing angry. <laughs> oh, God. Dumbledore at prep? No! <laughs> Dumbledore, no! Whatever shall we do? Oh, no! He put up posters of pastors of Ashley Simpson and the Backstreet Boys. Oh, no! Uh, I know, because those man. are just poser bands trying to be gothic, you know? <laughs> yeah, I know. Backstreet Boys think think they're so evil, but but they're not. They're not. They're posers. Oh goodness, we are in the thick of this story. There's only God, like twenty twenty four chapters left. Twenty five chapters. Hang on. Oh my. I'm oh my oh my. I think. Let's see. It is ten minutes till the end of the show, so we have time for these news stories. Mm, right on. Oh, hello, Sarah. <laughs> Girlfriend, look up. Mm. So, how, uh -oh. would you like to overview these? You've you've been looking around at these uh, stories about the Biebs. Would you like mm, to summarize yeah. them for us? The Biebers. The Biebers. Biebers. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, if you haven't heard already, and I'm sure you all have by Sub now. Sub bitches. Uh, <laughs> chair wooden here. I, I'm talking about that. Just a Bieber paternity suit, y'all. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's this 20-year-old uh, named Mariah Yeeter uh, claiming that, you know, she's... Billie Jean is not my love. I, I just, <laughs> every time I think of this story, I think of that Michael Jackson song, because it's true. It's it's going wow. on right now. She's claiming paternity as ju for Justin Bieber. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and he's taking a DNA test too. So apparently the results are going to be coming back, you know, in a couple weeks. And what's what's funny about this is like both she and Bieber seem like so confident about the DNA test. They're like, "Oh yeah, it's totally going to prove me right." So mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> and you know, there's an obvious comment uh, on the radar uh, online. Is it radar? Yeah. Uh, there's this obvious comment that says, um, you know, if it's true, then she needs to be charged with statutory rape. That that way, mm -hmm. that's that's way illegal in California, where the act is said to have taken place. And he's got a point, you know. Even if this well, is true, the I think the attorney says something like, they won't even it does it won't even be a big deal because in California, like three years separation is enough to make it a misdemeanor. So mm -hmm. they're like, oh yeah, whatever. Even even if she does get charged with that like we'll still get so much more money out of Bieber that it doesn't matter if it costs us like $5,000 for a rape case you know wow yeah so I guess that's their plan <laughs> is to go ahead with this and just you know I ain't saying way she's more a money gold nigga. well but she ain't saying she ain't suing no broke nigga 
Yeah. And then, of course, this article, we don't know if this is true or not, but Bieber's going to countersue the hell out of her once the DNA test comes back and if it's bogus or not. Oh, yeah. Or if it is bogus, then he will sue the crap out of her. So... Yeah, for all the go. slander that he, that she's been doing. A great picture with his ghetto <laughs> baseball cap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a drug dealer at my school. I could kill you if I wanted. <laughs> uh, wow. And... Uh, but I'm sure the story will develop as the weeks uh, pass us by. Ah, yes, yeah, so we'll have just... to report on it again next week, see if anything's yeah. popped up. Even my local news is just crawling all over this story. I, I don't see... That That and the uh, <laughs> Kim Kardashian uh, divorce thing, which actually oh, came yeah. up in my class today, for God's sake. Six? <laughs> no really? Why, you but... too? Yeah. Did that Holy you? crap. Yeah, like, last Thursday I was in class and somebody's like, you know, for, uh, for like, the after party and stuff that Kim Kardashian had for, like, their wedding night, they could have put, like, five, like, they, they, they could have financed, like, 500 universities. Really? How much money did they spend on it? I don't know, but apparently enough to fund 500 universities. <laughs> wow. Cool. <laughs> so... This is from this next story I picked out from your list. It was from Belief Blog on CNN. And <clears throat> this article is talking about uh, some magazine that did a uh, study, was recounting a study, right? December 2009 study. By the National Campaign to Prevent Teen and Unplanned Pregnancy, um, notes that, uh, what is it? 80% of unmarried evangelical young adults said that they have had sex, which is slightly less than 88% of unmarried adults. <laughs> so, <laughs> it turns out all of that Bible thumping gets you an extra 8%. Of people to not have sex before <laughs> being married. So, grats. Mm hmm. Grats, evangelicals, on your 8% margin of purity. <laughs> yeah, you know, the, 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 the Paul is just rolling around in his grave right now, you know. Because uh, oh, the, 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 I know. He, I, I know they're following his teachings concerning premarital sex, in fact, probably sex in general. Wasn't and, wasn't Paul's ideas about sex like supposed to be uh, the like the newer, more progressive version of the, mm -hmm. the Christian? Because like Jesus taught to like you know leave your families and stuff and not have kids and that kind of thing. Because you know the world was going to end soon. Yeah. So you know they kind of loosened up on that, but it's still like nowadays. Obviously, it's not very loose. So uh -huh. yeah. You know these 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 people should be following the voluntary human extinction movement, which I am all for. By the way, oh yeah, I have that. I have that liked on my Facebook. Uh, of course, everybody thinks you're weird if you say that, but whatever. <laughs> hey, you know what? I think that's a good idea not to bring any more people into this world. Like we got enough. We we really do. This, this is plenty. This is plenty. We we have what, enough what people. Was, wasn't there a recent story that the seven billionth person has been born? I uh, really. Well, shit! I didn't find it so. Yeah, uh, seven billionth babies celebrated worldwide. This was October thirty first. Um, I believe it was a Philippine baby, Danica May Comacho, was the seven millionth baby. So yeah, we've we've hit seven billion people. That is how many? Oh god, that's seven thousand million, right? Just that think is... about that. We're like ants up in this bitch. Like George Carlin said, you know, the Earth is just trying to shake us off. We're just a bunch of fleas. Well, 2012 is coming through and fall. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, oh, boy. Yeah, not much else to say about this. I, I What else is in this article... 
Not a so, whole lot. I mean, that basically does sum it up, you know. The, the church, the church is like, you know, the, 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 this chastity thing. The kids are finding out that kind. Of, that's kind of overrated. I just read this this quote from Scott McKnight at the bottom of that article. Uh, what is it? Uh, uh, sociologically speaking, the one big difference, and it's monstrous, between the biblical teaching and our culture is the arranged marriages of very young people. If you get married when you're 13, you don't have 15 years of temptation. <laughs> so is he saying that you're going to have 23 years of temptation? <laughs> Holy shit. Or 28 years, rather. Or Yeah, 28 years of temptation, my bad. Well, 28, <laughs> and then you'll get married when you're 28, so... <laughs> I, that's just, I, I just like the implication there that we should start getting married at 13 again. I don't know. Sounds that's like pretty biblical, it. all right. Yelp. Yelp. Well, That's really uh, progressing. Unless you want to trot out another story, I suppose we can end, because we've got about two minutes left. Hmm, let's see here. Not that I can think of, but let's see here. Although there, uh, if, you, if you want to, there's a, there's a humorous little story that happened um, back, on the, uh, back on the 4th of November. Uh, this car crashed into an auto repair shop. Uh, yeah, I just, I just love the irony of that. Yeah, that was, that was a fun one. Yeah, it, only in Chicago, folks. Only in Chicago. I mean, again, that's that's quite a short one. I have nothing to say on that, so... <laughs> it, it is literally, like, three paragraphs long or so. Alright. Well, I think we can close it out. We are going to have a show next Monday, correct? I don't think next. I have anything going on. Yeah? Uh-huh. <clears throat> yeah, I, I I ain't got nothing. Uh, I'll check my calendar, but yeah, and then the week after that, as we have noted, um, we will be together in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. so hopefully, we'll be having a very special show. It might not be in time for the usual live time, but we'll definitely try to get it <clears throat> recorded S while you're AS here. ASAP. Yeah, and that's gonna be um, if. If you haven't noticed by my conspicuous drinking of interesting beverages, it's going to feature some drinking. Not in heavy the... drinking. <laughs> yeah, heavy drinking. Totally. Mm. I wish I could do more drinking, but... Oh. One more year. Yeah. Well, legally. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, legally. Yeah. But I'm just drinking right. this Dr. Pepper. Tell then. Dr. Pepper. That's our show. Thank you for tuning in. As a reminder, our site is redwatershow.podomatic.com and our email is redwater.show at gmail.com. Please email. <laughs> we'll see you again you know, next Monday. What? What's you that? know, I think I'm gonna. I'm, I think I'm gonna email the show. That's a great idea. Because I have send a, in some feedback. I've got some good feedback for this for this show. Okay, we'll we'll read it out next show for sure. Okay. And if anyone else wants to, you know, by all means. Mm -hmm. Go all right, ahead. We'll see you again We're open to suggestions. Ne next Monday. Usually scheduled time. Woohoo. Have a sweet week, y'all. Y'all.